Hey there, this is SC Toots and welcome to another tutorial. Now we're going to be looking at how to use picture to get pro sounding vocal pitch correction. Okay. Now many people typically overlook this free plugin. Well, it does come free if you have FL Studio producer version and the all um, plugin edition, right? So many people typically overlook this free vocal tuning plugin. And to me, it's arguably as good as AutoTune. Now, AutoTune does have more features, yes, but it can still get the job done if all you're trying to do is just pitch correction and, you know, tuning. So let me show you how you can use this in your own projects and your mixes to um, polish up your vocals. So right here, it's, it may seem like it's a lot going on, but trust me, not, it's not really much going on right here. It's really easy to use. So right here we have Perhaps the most important part, which is setting the correct key, okay? Because if you don't set the correct key, the plugin is going to be giving you really bad results. As with any pitch correction plugin, by the way. So first, we need to know the key of our instrumental, all right? So the key of our instrumental, if you don't know the key, you can just open up a website just called TuneBat forward slash analyzer so if you do not know the key of your instrumental or your beat simply open up this free website called tunebats.com forward slash analyzer then drag and drop your beat into it and it's going to analyze and tell you the key and scale okay so i already know that the key of this instrumental is f minor okay so i'm going to come right here it's already in minor so i'm just going to come to f okay that's set already okay so and also make sure that it's in the first effects in your vocal chain okay right here you can see i have other effects loaded up right here so when you have this set then now we're going to adjust the speed okay this is how much pitch correction or tuning you want to happen on your vocal so i'm going to play it as it is in the default state fast so let's hear how it sounds so you can hear that sharp tuning so let me turn it off and hear it sounds when it's turned off so while the artist is really good but there are some flat notes in there that's why we're trying to use picture to correct so i'm going to turn you back on and you typically want to adjust this to your taste okay sometimes you may need to go as fast as this but most times i do use it around the, just around the medium settings okay and if you want a more natural pitch correction you may want to go even um down to the slow region okay so let me have it right here in the um center of the medium range and here it sounds okay that's sounding good but let me take it up a little bit more and see how it sounds if I turn it off, I'm sure you can hear a difference between you know the um tuning like when it's tuned and when it's not tuned right you can hear the notes sounding more on key hitting the right notes compared to when it was turned off now there are a few more things you can do with this plugin you can change the format maybe you want the vocals to be deeper maybe it's a production thing you're doing not necessarily mixing you can turn on the format and adjust it between you know the male icon is for a deeper bassier voice while the female icon is for you know a lighter more high pitched tiny voice okay more like the chipmunk style the higher you take it the more you hear the format change so i'm going to play the vocal and adjust it in real time so you can hear what it does So that's sound interesting. So you can use this as a layer up to your lead vocals if it's a production thing you're doing. But most times if you're just mixing, there should really be any reason you want to adjust the format of, you know, a vocal. Just the retune is fine. Now the fine tune speed typically is if you want to change the key, okay? Because if I change, it's going to change the sense if I press play. 
wanna spend my time with you Just wanna be a free There's nothing in this world I wouldn't do so you can hear it detuning the vocal okay so sometimes you want to detune your effect your sound then again if it's a production thing okay but i, I recommend you know you you reset it okay just leave it um in the default um section okay and then when i press play again let's hear the before and the after nothing in this world i wouldn't do when i spend my time with you just want to be a prefer Let's even hear other parts of the vocal and see. When I turn it off. Nobody do me better, mad for your matter, scat on my dada, spend on my rubber. Would you let me be a lover, lover, mad mother? And also, we have an in depth course on mixing vocals that shows you how to tune your vocals correctly, EQ, compress, and all the whole package so you can get pro sounding mixes. You can simply click the link in the description of this video to get access to the course. And yeah. You're going to see how to use this tool and even more advanced tools to fine tune your vocal mixes. If you found this helpful, like and follow for more. Cheers.